back. Hi, my name is Hannah Hart. I'm an author, a YouTuber, a human, and also a person attending VidCon. Back in March of 2011, I filmed my first video called My Drunk Kitchen. Well, hello. Welcome to My Drunk Kitchen. It was actually just a joke that I made for one friend and I sent it to them via YouTube because I didn't know what YouTube was. Then suddenly all these other people started watching the video and I was shocked. There was a comment in the comment section that said, this is my new favorite show on YouTube. So after this joke that I had made for a friend was well liked, I decided to do another one. So I shot another episode of My Drunk Kitchen, a very family friendly, fun program for all ages. And then I just kept making more videos because I love to do it so much. So far on episodes of My Drunk Kitchen, I love to collaborate with like my friends and family. We're gonna make barbecue sauce, yay! yay! But we're not gonna make it easy because learning would be boring that way. Yeah, you put your arms like oh, this, and then I go like this. Yeah, and I'm okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, My Drunk Kitchen is a show that I made really just for people that I love, and so it's always really happy for me to do it with people I love. You know, people always ask me, what's your favorite video? And the hard part is, is that it's kind of like choosing between your children. I love them all. And that's why I share them on the internet. If I didn't love the video, I probably wouldn't post it. If I could change lives with any other creator, I think it would probably be Tyler Oakley. Bo -bo. What's the lowest you can go? Bo -bo. Bo -bo. Bo -bo. Boo -boo. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week on my drunk <laughs> kitchen. As we said, boop boop over and over again. Boop boop. Boop boop. Because I wouldn't have to buy any new clothes because Tyler and I pretty much dress the same way. So after a long night, I'm the kind of person that's like, everybody, come over to my house. Because for me, I love to party in the kitchen. My favorite thing to do is make a spaghettata, which is like a delicious pasta spaghetti meal that I can serve to a bunch, a bunch of people. Um, I really like Barilla pasta. It's a great at-home pasta to eat. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm actually just, uh, now I'm just, I'm hungry and thinking about it right now. Later this year, you'll be able to find my second book, Buffering, Unshared Tales of a Life Fully Loaded, in stores everywhere October 18th. You can pre-order it today online at bufferingbook.com. And we have another movie coming out, Dirty 30. Freeze! But I can't tell you about when that comes out yet. One of my best friends is named Grace Helvig. She's another YouTuber, and I love her with my whole heart. Next question. Oh, okay. Next question. Oh. <laughs> I like that you just organically produce a noise that says how you feel every time you look at the question. Like, next question. Oh, next question. Ooh, next question. Ooh. Grace has the unique ability to kind of always know what I'm thinking. That's a fun quirk. Recently I put out a video called I'm Afraid of You and it was about how I'm afraid that no one is going to take action. Earlier today I called my representative of my district and I told them that I don't want assault rifles in our country. Earlier today I went and checked and made sure my senator voted the way I thought was appropriate in terms of gun laws. That everybody likes to talk about gun violence and gun issues in America, but nobody actually does anything about it. I really believe that we can be a great nation and I wanna see that happen. We all have to start talking about things first. As part of my channel, Heart Dough, we also run this volunteer program called Have a Heart Day. Hello. Behind me is one of the many houses being built by the international organization Habitat for Humanity. So not only do all of us get to walk away from today with a real sense of accomplishment, I feel like we're walking away with the knowledge that we've helped someone else get that sense of accomplishment too. <laughs> it started in 2013 and now has grown to be nine countries in 30 cities across America. Every month, Hartosexuals, which is what my community likes to call themselves, get together and they volunteer to kind of spend the day doing service for others instead of just staying kind of worried and constantly thinking about your own life. It's a great, great way to meet new friends and a great way to just chill, man. The 
background on my phone is wood. And the app I use the most is an app called Bitmoji. And the last Bitmoji I sent, and my favorite app is an app called Dish. It's kind of like Yelp meets Instagram. Basically, you go and you can rate the dishes at different restaurants by how good the dish itself is. It's amazing. If you're ever looking for a place to eat, Dish, D-Y-S-H. This is 100. This was so good. Thanks so much for watching me on ABC News. Be sure to subscribe to me at my channel, Harto, H-A-R-T-O.